Well, as Local 5 First shared with you yesterday, a Pleasant Hill family offered shelter to our news crew Friday night when the tornado sirens sounded and they had nowhere to go for safety. Sports director Raina Garcia and reporter Lara Bowen are okay, but the experience rattled them as it did for so many people in Pleasant Hill who sustained tornado damage. Laura has since tracked down that family to see how they're doing and to hear their story. My ears are getting really full. They're they're popping and they my 14 year old and him were both saying, well, now that you say something, mine are really like you're going up a mountain and it was to the point like my eardrums were like hurting. Samantha Schminke and Brandon Reese were planning on having a quiet Friday night. That was before all hell broke loose. It's just total chaos. Within seconds of their ears popping, Brandon and Samantha said they felt like they were in a movie. They heard the wind screaming, debris hitting their house, then silence. I think that was more eerie than anything is it was super loud and then it was like it's silent loud. and it was pitch black. There was nothing like there was nothing. Our phones were on 8%. We were all freaked out, lost Wi-Fi, lost all connection. Their grill, which once stood right here, now missing, picked up by the wind. That grill was thrown into this yard, which is right across the street from their house. And as you can see, it's in a debris pile now right behind me. Days later, the family is making sense of what happened and assessing the damage caused by the storm. We have broken windows. We had a AC unit that flew through the window and busted the whole outside of it. It has shifted our bathroom sink off of the wall. They're currently staying with family. Their house unlivable, their car undrivable. My car is looking like a total loss. Um, we had a work truck that has been smashed by light poles. Um, his other truck has its back windows broke out. It's a night they won't forget. This includes their son Brewer, who was excited to share his side of the story. Got dig right there, and then mash you like that, and then I'll go right, right up there. Laura Bowen, Local 5 News.